Welcome to the SHAPE 2020 Virtual Seminars. Nessa acknowledges and pays respect to the past, present and future traditional custodians and elders of New South Wales and the continuation of cultural, spiritual and educational practices of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Nessa acknowledges we are meeting on Aboriginal country and recognises Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander teachers and students joining us today. Welcome you 12 to this virtual SHAPE presentation that we'll be examining the design and technology major projects. Hi, I'm Greg and this is Stella. We've been marking design and technology projects for many years and we would like to offer you some insight into how the process of applying the guidelines actually takes place. The purpose of this session is to help you gain a little more understanding of the holistic nature of the marking process for this course and to give you some understanding of what the markers are actually looking for, how they find evidence, how they support the guidelines within your major design project submission. Everything you present for marking, including your final product, folio, models, experiments, drawings, and the display itself, all form part of the journey you, the student, have undertaken. Headings within your folio are great. However, evidence can be found in any part of the work presented to the HSC markers. There are no limitations to the number or volume of practical components submitted. However, there is a page limit on supporting documentation, uh, which includes any drawings or images displayed which exceed the allowable number of pages. We have selected three projects from the 2021 shape display. These represent a range of different materials. The marking guideline template, which has already been outlined to you in an earlier session, is the only rubric that we apply. All markers using the rubric apply a standard process. There is no personal perspectives at all. This allows for transparency, equity and consistency in the marking process. There are 12 major works that have been selected by the powerhouse for the SHAPE exhibition. These have been taken from around 500 nominations this year across the state. For the purpose of this presentation, we will be exploring three projects and their folios. For the project proposal and project management section, we'll be exploring the eco-friendly learner and provisional driver plate. For the project development and realisation section, we'll be exploring the solar desalinator and the samples from the other two projects. And for the project evaluation section, we'll be exploring the dose guardian. Many images of student projects, testing, models, sketches, paragraphs of text, or even an image of an entire page will appear on the screen as we move through this presentation. There will not be time allocated to read the samples as we go. You will need to return to this video at your leisure and replay and pause or read from the provided documents in the Matterpoint virtual exhibition, which can be accessed using the QR codes provided. We hope everybody watching walks away more informed inspired and with at least one new idea that can be applied to their design and technology major design project. is the eco-friendly learner driver plate. Within the identification and exploration of the need, this student presents a genuine need to redesign the learner or provisional driver indicator plate to be biodegradable and to minimise environmental impact when they fall off. This is argued positively by the student and is also supported with several pages of research and discussion. To further reinforce the concept of biodegradability and more detail regarding specific roadside rubbish statistics, possible materials used in existing eco-friendly designs and their methods of breakdown could have been presented. The conclusions drawn from a general survey observed that cardboard learner plates were more environmentally friendly than the plastic alternatives. Further questioning of the target market could have deepened this research. The concepts explored in the areas of investigation reflect key design factors and relate clearly to the development of the project. By clarifying the factors under consideration, the student is able to develop a pathway for the idea to be expanded and to begin the development of the design. For example, the student has been able to identify a range of materials which are potentially suitable for the project. The student has offered reasoning why investigations into these materials should take place and they have also considered the potential implications of these investigations taking place on the development of the project. So from a marking perspective, it is helpful that the student has provided page numbers within the table, indicating where the evidence can be located within the folio. 
Markers can move to these sections to see the application of the outline pathway and reward the student accordingly. The criteria to evaluate success are presented within a table. The student has presented criteria that would indicate success if achieved. The criteria are described in detail. They're explained, clarified and well reasoned by the student. The image on the screen highlights how the plate will need to hold seed. In all projects, the criteria presented should have a direct relationship or impact on the product's overall success. The discussion provided by the student has allowed them to effectively draw out and relate the process of seed being encapsulated within the chosen material, thus fulfilling the proposed need for a biodegradable learner plate. The way in which criteria are presented is important as they should be able to be revisited and measured in some way in the student's final evaluation. The action time and finance plans clearly reflect forward planning and as such should provide the pathway for the student to begin the design process. Pre-planning is evident in what has been presented by the student and there is also a direct correlation between the forward planning and how the project has progressed. There is also clear evidence of application of the items discussed in these plans within the folder and also in the completed final product. Evaluating these plans has allowed the student to reflect and to keep on task. The plans are all discussed with respect to the potential challenges of creating the Enviro C plate. There are more plastic LMP plates being distributed throughout our community more than ever. The Eco Plate, a revolutionary product, aims to fix this problem that is to prevent the destruction of our environment whilst also building a product for the future. This video will show you the many steps, problems and processes that have occurred during the design and the developmental stages of the final product. The current plates, manufactured by Finsborough Green in New South Wales, are made out of a recyclable Code 6 plastic. This plastic is still harmful to the environment. These plates are then handed out at a substantial rate at service New South Wales branches across our state. Early investigations saw the eco plate being imagined such as one handed out by service New South Wales. These sketches help to show the strong realisation that the eco plate can provide. Originally the SPDP or Sustainable Provisional Drivers Plate, the eco plate will use the same dimensions and specifications set up by service New South Wales to follow current legislation. The first test saw corrugated cardboard being used, with six other Australian native seeds. This, is a, this had been seen from WikiHow. The test ran over 10 days to see if any seeds were to germinate. By following the required steps, placing seeds within paper towel and then cardboard, it was meant to show pleasing results, but unfortunately did not. This started new research for the base of the plate. Many Australian businesses were researched for a material called seeded paper or cardboard. This material is biodegradable and is naturally made and will break down after 30 days within the ground. Further investigations found that paper go round in Victoria will be the best place to buy the product from, helping to support Australian businesses and the local economy whilst also being the best priced. After receiving the paper from Victoria, it was now time to start testing within the ground. A makeshift plant bed was created in two different zones to simulate two different environments. One where shade is possible and one where shade may be restricted. All weather conditions were experienced during this time, either wet, humid or sunny. The paper had started to break down. This is due to the wet weather starting to break down the paper. Future investigations must see how we can protect the paper from breaking down with wet weather and also germinate at the same time. A form of protection must be found that will either go onto the plate or wrap around the plate, either heat sealed or stuck together. This is where the NatureFlex bag was found. Testing was done using a heat gun or laminator providing a heat seal. Unfortunately, this did not work, still letting in moisture into the bag. After being tested on cars, many other forms of materials were researched to protect the eco plate during wet weather. A vegetable based wax was selected to protect the final product from the wet weather environments. This was tested and successful. The final product must be universal. A mould was created using VCARV and the computer numerical control, along with various other machinery to create the mould. There were four attempts until the mould was created 
To mold the paper, you must align the paper, press the paper down to create a mold similar to the plates from Surface New South Wales. After this, the plate is then dipped in wax and the final product is then complete. Is it still attached to your car today? Uh, it's actually not still attached to my car because we've got a family car, but it's actually worked quite well. So I've also had to put the normal uh, the normal L plates on uh, just to make sure that it's road safe. And uh, yes, it's still attached, although it is getting to its last stages. How much would you pay for the Eco Plate once on sale? Either one to five dollars for a two pack. I would probably pay about three dollars for a two pack. The Eco Plate has an estimated lifetime of three months. Given that you have only had the testing for two months, how has it reacted to the environment and driving? One being poor, ten being excellent. Um, for like in comparison to the P or like the plastic plates, I would say it was probably around a seven. Like being biodegradable, I don't know how much longer it would take. Would you like to see the Eco Plate replace the current plastic plate program from the New South Wales government? Yes, no, or uh, unsure. Yes. I would. The amount of P plates that are and like L plates that are left on the road is disgusting. Um, I believe the eco plate will affect me as an individual as it will shed like help me shed light on the ways that we can help the environment. How do you believe the eco plate will affect society? Um, I think the eco plate will affect society in positive ways as well. Um, it'll help us as a society um, help the environment. Um, just making it a bit sturdier, make sure it's uh, eligible for all cars being able to be implemented because I know some cars don't have a front um, number plate or front or back number plate. Um, I believe that the eco plate should be a little bit brighter in terms of the ink. Um, it's a little bit dark compared to the plastic ones. Um, I like how it actually plants seeds and it helps the environment. We are now moving on to the project development and realisation section of this project for evidence of creativity, idea generation and exploration of existing ideas. This student has presented several high quality, succinctly annotated sketches and drawings over a number of pages. These have allowed the student to communicate substantial concept development, providing evidence of conceptual idea development on their solar reflector which are particularly strong, detailing CAD drawings, which utilises Fusion 360, allowing for ease of interpretation and accuracy in manufacturing. The student has undertaken a journey, which can be seen in the final prototype, and also visualised through the idea of refinement and the images, sketches and drawings that are clearly presented in the folio. They have provided good concept from the design perspective, highlighting the application of creativity. The student has conducted a detailed exploration of the idea, which is reflected in this finished prototype and in the testing. They have also made modifications to stages of the project, which are shown through images of some of the testing and development, sample work, and through the multimedia overview at the end of this process. Through the design factors presented, the student has been able to explore factors which all relate in general terms to the development of the solar desalinator. For example, the appropriateness of materials, UV stability and the size of the components. They've also been able to draw conclusions from these factors, which are further developed through the testing and development sections. And once again, these are seen in the prototype here on display. Through research and experimentation, the student is able to demonstrate that materials, tools and techniques have been considered and explored. The research presented is clearly responsible for the progression and refinement of the final designs in all three projects we have discussed today. The learner plate, the pill dispenser, and the prototypes and tests and modifications. The prototyping is displayed and relates to the progression of the idea along a timeline. All prototypes are included within evidence of practical skills. All good ideas are researched using a wide range of resources. The student collected information which supports the development of the project 
For example, reviewing existing product materials, manufacturing equipment, tools, possible software packages, and this is representative of some of the common information collated and evaluated by students in this section. The progression of experiments and tests are well documented, and the samples are displayed for the markers to examine. Good experimentation directly aids in the development of the design solution, even when it provides an alternative direction for the student to travel. For application of conclusions, many conclusions and evaluative statements are presented by the student. These have been drawn from the research, testing and experimentation conducted within the project's development. The conclusions drawn highlight the journey undertaken by the student including the range of design issues and the complex conceptual challenges that have been experienced throughout the development of the project. Clear evidence of applied conclusions are exhibited in the final product and throughout the folio. These evaluative statements are easily distinguished by the marker and are usually highlighted in a text box which is coloured. The student work which is set up for marking allows markers to interact with both the testing and the prototyping produced. Samples created allow a student to show the development process whilst also providing evidence of the range of practical skills they have used to complete the project. It can be easily seen that changes the student has made throughout the journey of their development of the project are as a direct result of conclusions drawn many being derived from the experimentation and testing process. For justification of ideas and resources, the student has clearly presented relevant ideas and considered resources used to develop their product. Within the table, the cause and effect, at times the impact of the idea or resource on the completed project have been explored. In folios, this table is usually the amalgamation of ongoing decision-making and most presented have also been detailed thoroughly within the folio as the student navigates their way through the processes of development. Discussions presented are used to both justify and support processes undertaken and materials included within the design development process. The example exploring the bonding of the mylar to the core flute reflects several crucial decision-making actions. Use of communication and presentation techniques. The student has used a wide range of communication techniques in a succinct manner. These include word processing, images, tables, sketching, CAD drawings, graphs and photographs. All are well annotated and evaluated. The presentation techniques used allow for clarity of interpretation by the marker. The student's folio is ordered to reflect the NESA marking guidelines. Recommended font, size, Numbered pages, layout and page limits have all been used, which avoids any confusion on the marking day. Evidence and application of practical skills. A range of high quality practical skills have been used to test, develop and construct this finished project. The skill range evident is broad, including researching, designing, sketching, computer software applications, testing, manufacturing and assembly. Multimedia presentations provide visual confirmation of the product's ability to function and can also be supported by external experts in the field. The models provide evidence of manufacturing techniques across multiple material areas and have been utilised in the development and production of this product.
In the project evaluation section, ongoing recording of evaluation is evident throughout the design project. The student consistently presents statements which are contained in highlighted boxes throughout the development of the project. These detailed discussions have provided an opportunity for the student to evaluate and make recommendations in relation to moving their project forward. Aesthetic and functional issues have been explored in a table format, with the student considering cause and effect in relation to the essential features and functional aspects of the product. In the table provided by the student, they are able to determine the most appropriate material to be selected for the base of the Dose Guardian, as you can see here. When exploring the impact on the individual, society and the environment, the student is able to explain a range of ways in which the product would impact on the individual, society or environment, and also draws out the relationships between them. For example, the student provides evidence of the cause and effects when exploring decreasing pollution by using biodegradable materials. Relationship of the final product, system or environment to the project proposal. In this section, the marker wants to know what the student's intention was and how well they were able to fulfill the task in the set time limitations. Criteria outlined in the original plans are related and are explored in comparison to the completed product. A clear comparison of the differences and similarities from start to completion of the product are presented.
We hope that you found this presentation informative in supporting your journey through the HSC Major Design Project and thank the Powerhouse Museum for their continued support of our subject. We wish you well in your HSC.